the giant skipping rope. <laughs> Dead alpha this morning mate. Six boiled eggs, boiled porridge, raisins and an apple. And then I had two pieces of toast with uh, two kilo of Nutella on. <laughs> Morning ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. Um, what do you say? Morning gender neutral people. <laughs> Tis a Tuesday. Tis International Chess Day. Um, and even though Oblivion now has electrolytes in there, I'm gonna add uh, an electrolyte tablet. Just for added hydration. We've got a special guest joining us this morning. We've got a Mr. Sam Parker, and our Mr. Sam Parker is, I believe, one of the first persons in the UK to hit a thousand kilo total in the powerlifting world, which is hella impressive. Anything over a ton is uh, definitely in that sort of top 0.0001% of the population of the world in terms of strength athletics. He'll be here in a second, so we'll introduce Sam as soon as he arrives, and then uh, we'll get stuck in today. So Sam messaged me. Uh, he's quite keen to come up and try the 100 kilo dumbbells for uh, in, a, in a bench press format. So, and I've been looking at him on social media. He's strong, you know. He can do sort of 90s, 95s for three, four reps. Um, but different dumbbells in different gyms, you know. Uh, some are more compact, some are longer, some are more unbalanced. I must admit that the dumbbells here are super long, probably getting towards about 60 centimeters long. You know, a dumbbell. So when you're in terms of getting it to the side of your head, you can't bring it down by the side of your head. You have to sort of bring it in front. You have to turn it a little bit to make it doable. So I'll see you in the uh, weight room. Right guys, we have Mr. Sam Parker. He eventually turned up. <laughs> He's been here for ages. So uh, <laughs> it actually came here before me. I just didn't know he was here, but there you go. Today I'm gonna to try 100 kilo dumbbells on incline. Now what I want to do with them is um, pick them up off the floor on my own Ooh. and lap them, flick them back on my own, Ooh. press them and then return them to the floor without bathing them and dropping them. Ooh. Which I've not actually ever seen that done anywhere in the world with hundreds. Don't think so. So if I can do that, it would be potentially, but I could be wrong, but from what I've seen, I've not seen anybody else do it. So it would be another first. If I was to get it. A world record. <coughs> A record of the world the whole world to see of the record. What's your body weight at the minute? My Sam? body weight at the moment is, um, is 140 kilos. And what, 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 what were you at your heaviest? Uh, 171 kilos. I mean, so just for clarity, that everybody <laughs> out there that says I'm five foot nine or five foot ten. This is a short <laughs> It's not my fault that I stand with seven foot giants all the time, okay? <laughs> all right. Let's get stuck in. Let's do it. If you put a band on the bench, it makes it like... This is something new I'm learning. They're probably a little bit thinly, so ideally, if you were to get like a thicker blue band or something, if you've got one here, we'll try. Oh, let's go then. I found a band. I mean, this is uh, Andre the Giant's skipping rope. <laughs> oh, I can feel the difference straight away. I can't move anywhere, I'm about stuck to that. It's definitely different, I've never done the band finger before. It's a lot like getting your that arch and your back's a lot easier because you're pinned you know, up and sliding about. So that's, uh, never thought of doing that. It's a really good, good idea, that is. It feels quite nice, this bar, actually. Get a nice little pop of the chest. A nice little what? <laughs> like a nice little pop off the chest from it. Wait, wait but it get, also feels what, unstable at the top. Wait, wait till you get a bit heavier on it, mate. Right? It's, uh, it's a different yeah, animal. I've, I've got really long arms, I have. I mean, that's why I'm quite good at deadlift. It gives me a big advantage for deadlifting. Punch. 
shoulder to shoulder. Actually, yeah, there is. Not a massive difference. No, not huge. You've got really, really short femurs for your height as well, which help. Legs. Yeah. yeah. Short femurs. I've got a long. If you've got. I've got a long body. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're a good build for all three. Yeah. Like you've you've got like no huge disadvantage or anything. Generally for powerlifting, right? I'm gonna put it bluntly. If you've got long femurs, pick a different sport. Yeah. Like you're never gonna be world class at powerlifting with long femurs. If you've got short femurs, it's an advantage. Right? Short arms is obviously an advantage for bench and, and long arms is an advantage for deadlift. So generally you'll get people that have two two good lifts and one one. That's pretty standard. Um, like Ed's actually one of the only people I know with like without lift. So, or sort of like in between everything on her yeah. really. One, two, three, up, bye bye. Feels like an earthquake in my hands, that bar. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh. That's not dad dancing, that is uh what's the one what's the one up from dad dancing? Granddad dancing. Granddad dancing, yeah. <laughs> That is inspiration for you, Sam. If I, if you, if you, if you just strategically place that where your butt crack's going to be, and then, my, I, and then my wank sock's going to be near your bum hole. If I sit on that, so we might as well have does that mean I might deadlift more than 400 one day? Maybe. Possibly. 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 You're going you know, to absorb my DNA, basically, mate. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. So I'm going to do this set when <laughs> sat on that, then. <laughs> one, and two, my bar. A wank sock could bring you so much pleasure in so many different ways. <laughs> oh my god. Joking apart, this is a real good way of sort of releasing all the tension in your rhomboids for a bench press because you find when you're benching, if you've got tight rhomboids, i.e., a tight back, oh, then uh, it's going to hinder your bench press quite a lot. So, this is great just to roll out your rhomboids quickly, just quick release, just 10 seconds on certain spots. Uh, it makes a big difference. So, and the idea being that helps you sort of hold it in place, and then you just find a nice spot with it and roll it out against the wall or a door. Whichever. Stand behind us, mate, just in yeah. case. Be here, you want to be like that? Yeah, so I just bench normal, I don't yeah, use my lats. If you try and make them as big as possible here, right? right. So spread and your tuck lats. Them into the, so your triceps on your lat at the bottom? Yeah. So that pop. I can feel that straight away. Yeah, so I can't get my arms It back. kind of pops it off the chest for you. Whereas that, I can. 
um, mentally have to keep tensing your lats all yes, the way through yes, the whole time. You have to think about them. Right, think okay. about your lats. Think about kind of screwing the bar down almost. That's what I'm trying to think about. Yeah. It's like you're kind I'm of screwing like it outwards and ripping it, yeah, and down. And then when you're at the bottom, you kind of feel the tension when your tricep hits your lat at the bottom. Yeah. And then that first pop is just lats. Yeah. So you don't really catch any tension for the first couple of inches of the movement. And then right. you've got to bring everything else in, you know? Right, we're done on the flat and incline bench. Just a nice bit of the warm up on the incline, nothing too strenuous. Um, and we'll get onto incline dumbbells now and just work our way up to an absolute max. And hopefully, uh, both me and Sam will be smashing the 100 kilo dumbbells. So let's crack on. Nice position there with the hundreds, you're going to be like that. Put some way different strain on. Seventy-five. Seventy-five in a straight. Going straight to hundreds. I'm gonna yeah because the more I do is. Yeah. I normally take biggest jumps, but I'm so just gonna do one more set. Um, <coughs> These are quite, going to be quite easy to pick up because um, they're, quite, they're quite narrow. Obviously, the longer they get, it makes the pickup harder because when you do them my way, which is lifting off the floor and then flicking them up, you have to almost do like a half hammer curl to get them to, to lap. So it's very grip dominant as well. Go on. Pat, boom. 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 Go on, come on. Pat. Get it. Boom. Come on. Oh man, yep, oh man. Easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yours, yep. Sam. Mine, mine. Yeah, yeah. The last one, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Come on. Come on. Oh, crash. From behind, Sam. Yep. Uh -huh. Keep holding on it, keep holding on it, keep holding on it. Uh, okay, you then. Yep. You okay? Easy to me, yep. Oh my. Let's go. Yes! What a... I'll take it. Mine? Yeah. I've got my side head. Oh, no. I must have cracked on my shoulder then. What you find is, mate, you're used to going to even just a few inches. Yeah, it's not such a big difference. Because you are, you are stronger in that position. A lot stronger. So you turn them that way, you're a lot weaker, aren't you? Yeah. Might give it one more go. Just one more crack, I think. Go on, man, bro. Yep, not mine. Yep. Yours. Yep. All right, let's go, buddy. Right. Come on. Right. Come on, go. Come on. Come on, press come on, it, come press on. It. Good man. <laughs> there we go. Right, let's get this. Now, I've, I've never. Half a rat. Did everyone do that before? Oh. It's quite impressive. Half a rat. It's better than nothing. <laughs> hey man, it's better than nothing, man. Good man. There is not many people on this planet that can bench 100 kilo dumbbells, buddy. At all. Probably less. Hopefully, I'll join the club soon. Less than five. Right, we've um, done flat bench, incline bench, worked up to the 100 kilo dumbbells. Sam very impressively did uh, one arm rep with them. So uh, that was pretty cool. Uh, now we're just gonna finish off, stretch the chest out, do some, what I like to call sort of time under tension, stretch pet deck. So we'll get the pet deck set back really back. So it's really stretching the chest. And then, you know, sort of three seconds in, three seconds out or four seconds, uh, three sets of 10 reps, work away up the stack. And then we'll get onto triceps.
Do you do anything uh, particular? Triceps. Should we do JM press in the Smith? Or what press? Should we do a JM press in the Smith? A JM? Yeah, like a skull crusher in the Smith machine. Why, why is it called JM? Uh, it's not for like JM Blakely. Oh, okay. Power lifter. did like. It's like a cross between a close grip and a skull crusher. Okay. So you can go quite heavy on it. Straight bar? Yeah, in a Smith machine. Uh, in a Smith? Yeah, because it keeps it like. So it's like. There's one over there. Over yeah. The one there. Should we do that? Oh, yeah. Secret ingredients in here. We've got uh, Maya Band's eight times whey. Link in description. But it's 50% um, lacto-free milk, 20% camel milk, 20% goat's milk, and then 15% Nana horse tip milk. It's the perfect blend for growing muscles. Right then buddy, you want, you want to do two plates a side. Yeah. As many reps as you can, so yep. let's set some rules and regulations. Right, okay. So, just off the nose. Just to the nose, yeah. Yeah. Full lockout. Full lockout every rep. Uh, as many reps as you yep. can. Yeah, just in ammo, so full reps. Okay. Just the nose. I was starting to do like elbows out though, yeah, yeah, wasn't really getting amra. Oh, four, four reps. Oh, not bad. Awesome man, good well, session. Well, good session, good session mate. Thank buddy. Alright buddy. Right, well, that was a good session. Flat bench up to 225, <laughs> incline up to, we do 140, 145. Yeah, 145. 140, yeah, then we did the dumbbells up to 100, so I've got uh, a one arm rep, which was actually <laughs> more impressive than my double, I think. My well, fucking um, abs paying for that now. I'm sorry there. Uh, and then we did three sets of ten on the on the, fly, on the pet fly. We worked up to a super heavy set doing the full stack, and then we were just come and uh, finished off on the triceps. I'm pretty pumped. I'm uh, definitely. I'll feel. I'll feel that tomorrow for sure. Definitely. Right. Must say, mate, your triceps are very, very strong. You're obviously very tricep heavy on your bench and everything. Yeah. 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 I've worked a lot on them lately. Oh, that's good. Right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out. Sam's Instagram. You got a YouTube, mate? No, I haven't. No. I need to make one now. You need to get one. Yeah. Uh, please check out Sam's Instagram. Give him a like, give him a follow, follow his journey. Uh, obviously, you can tell he's a strong kid, so uh, plenty more to come. And uh, chasing the British bench press records. Currently at 275. Uh, that's definitely within your range, mate, oh, yeah, even now. So good luck with that. I've anyway, that. thanks for watching, guys. Please, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Big love the beast. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.